And welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, the 13th of December, on what is a big day for markets as we await the major action in the US tonight. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today. And of course, we had a broad based rally on Wall Street to start the week well as markets brace for their big next two days, that inflation data coming out tonight, and the Fed's meeting starting today, also the culmination of which is the interest rate decision tomorrow that's likely to dominate sentiment not only over the next couple of days but probably for the rest of the month as well us futures are near neutral in early asian action asian indices are following that us lead asx was around about 0.6 percent but just note that it's just dropped to around about 0.4 percent to the upside uh, material sector is underperforming um and European equity futures are suggesting a positive open later as the US market continued to go up after European markets closed last night. US dollar index is near neutral. It's slightly to the downside. We're seeing some strength in the euro, but also of late in the commodity-based currencies. The yen was very weak yesterday and continues to look that way today. Gold has dipped below that key 1800 level by a few dollars, but still fairly close to that major psychological barrier which we might see breached tonight if that inflation print comes in slightly soft or bounce slightly off year-to-date lows and copper was down overnight we see base metals looking pretty precarious today interestingly but again that may be in light of the fact that they've had a good run over the last month or so and just a little bit of risk coming off the table the vix is near neutral despite that equity strength and that's really a reflection of the fact that we have so much uncertainty over the next couple of days, perhaps. Bitcoin is trading within a tight range between 17,000 and 17,200, testing the top end of that uh, range right now. And of course, outside of the US inflation number and the FOMC, there is other data coming out. We've got the Financial Policy Committee statement coming out of the UK, which gives uh, an indication of how the financial health is in terms of the UK economy that's going to be a mover on the GB pound we've got German CPI and European economic sentiment also due which are going to have an impact on the euro so lots for the markets to consider today but it's really all focused on what's happening tonight at 8 30 a.m New York time let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today we can't help but be interested in Twitter if we look at the daily chart here we've got a long-term double bottom uh, since Elon Musk took over the company. Uh, the market has quite liked some of the things that he's put in place, and we're now moving up towards that $55 level. A move up to 60 looks very much on the cards if we breach that $55, and that will give a potential return of around about uh, 9% if we get a continuation of the trend that we're in now. So that could be one to watch in the US tonight. Uh, on the FX front, we're having a look at the Aussie yen, which does look as though it's breaching 93. We've got a potential 40 pip move up to this next level at around about 93.50. On, on a daily chart, you can see how important this is. That 93.50 is the next level or import it may hit that today and possibly up to 94 should that inflation number come in soft so the aussie yen is a good one to watch today and one that looks as though it's got some buying momentum coming in right now trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now